Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. Why, why am I talking about it when I don't even want to talk about it? Merry Christmas. Little ones to him. Wait, how's it going again? The Tactical 10, part two. No, 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 no. Now is, should be maybe the last one. Yo, bro, so look, this just ain't no joke. Wiring schematics. So this is the one picture from Del Puckett, Puckett Cigar Box Guitars, you can screenshot it. This is for a three-way switch, two pickups, and volume and tone. If you're a novice at wiring, like I still feel like I am, even after like a hundred some builds, <laughs> I'm just not confident about this, dude. Um, alleviate your stress with a nice wiring diagram. This is the one I got out. I went to CB Giddy. I bought... Oh, bro. Come on, be more. All right. So this is going to go into here. And this is going to go into here. No. This is... This is going to go into here. It's pretty self-explanatory, although if you were just to look at this right here, look, one, two, it's like, wait, seven lugs on there? One, two, yeah. So, basically, um, tone, volume, pickup one's going to go here to these two lugs, and pickup two's going to go to these two lugs. Uh, incorrect. See how this diagram has those two um, jumpers on the P1 hot and the P2 hot? Those need to be moved over to the side. I learned that from a Dell Puckett video. I wired it like this diagram right here, and it didn't work. I don't know why, but it didn't work. You're going to ignore this, ignore that. It's going to come out of here into here. It's going to do that two times. And again, I'm not, I'm not a real good teacher. I consider myself more of an idea man. Kind of sharing ideas, you know, the whole soldering thing, dude. Definitely type in how to solder a cigar. Del Puckett, suck, Del Puckett, dude, he's got it. There's lots of guys out there do it. Um... I'm kind of sweating Dell because he's my boy, dude. You know what I'm saying? Um, he's got, I think he's got like a whole playlist on it. It's like a whole process. If you go slow and low, you can get it done. All right, I'm going to stop yapping. What I'm hoping to do in this here yard video is finish up the Tactical 10, um, number them, and then put them up here on the Pantheon celebrating and remembering 10 years of building before we go to the next level, the next phase. So this is going to be builds eight, nine and eight, nine and 10 build series number of the, the fretted, the frets I've done is 94, 95 and 96. I know it gets complicated, but it's whatever, just, a, a nerdy way of kind of trying to keep track of all this. And then, um, I, dude, I don't even know what I'm going to do with <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I'm just going to sell them. Sell them on eBay. They will not be for the faint of heart when it comes to changing the strings. Because some of them, um, I've got different screws in holding them in. So I'll have to probably 
send a detailed, um, ideally you could just be able to open them up when the time comes, you know, pop them open and then just change the strings. But you'd want to be careful with this hinge. You, and they do go on there pretty easy. But sometimes, see the corner in here? Sometimes I think if, if this won't close correctly, if, because I do some on the top, built some on the, on the bottom coming through here, and then some I built coming through on the top just to keep it fun. So, anyways, my long winded point is is there's kind of different ways to get them open and closed. So that's it. I'm going to try to shut up and then just finish these builds out. I need to, in this video, this one's already wired. Wire these last two. So I'm gonna take this humbucker I'm gonna put him down here. I'm gonna wire him up. Once he's wired, I need to string it. Uh, file, file the nut. Look, little bitty grooves here. File those. String it. Um, Put the build series number here, number eight, number nine, number 10, and the other ones. It'll just be some oddball stuff. And then build the bridge. Let's not forget that this, I don't know what I'm gonna do about the bridges. Pretty much I've been using these kind of bridges right here. Oh, that's what you can, you do have to do these. <clears throat> All right, bridges. Bridges. Now, I'm using this bridge on these ones for a reason, because remember, there's like a thousand different kinds of bridges you can use. You can just use a scrap of wood. You know what I mean? Look, boom. That little scrap of wood, ironically, would be perfect in some applications. Lights, all, lights wash out everywhere. I don't think it cat and Helen Mad Murdoch in here. All right, so. But these, and I'm, I'll, I'll be quiet. I gotta, I, so much to do, dude. Okay, look. I put him on here, reverse, and that's a long story. You've seen the other ones, okay. The main point here is, is you have to find a way, if you have a humbucking pick, if you have an electric pickup, a magnetic pickup, to ground your strings. So if I was to use a piece of wood here, the strings are coming through here, around this, which is plastic, and going up here to there. So you'd have to find a creative way to ground those. You could probably run a ground wire up through your box and attach it to your fret wire if you wanted to. I thought one time maybe you could ground these pots if they were metal. But the key thing's super stupid simple, because I'm building like 10 of these. Most of these boxes I use this, and essentially what I'm gonna do here is when I'm wiring all this, I'm gonna leave one uh, um, ground wire. It's gonna pop out of probably through here because I miscut that hole. <laughs> it worked out. I didn't spaz out. So ground wire through here and it'll go up through here and then that will ground the strings. So remember grounding is one of the reasons why I, I, I usually don't like soldering stuff because the grounding issue when I first started, I just, it would drove me absolutely insane trying to trying to problem solve why it was making all that noise, especially after you've spent all this time, energy and effort building these things and soldering them and then it's just I never will cease to, to be amazed that this little, like even in your electric guitars, if if this one, look how big that wire is, dude. Like it's, it's look how, look. This one little itty bitty wire, regardless of what electric guitar you're playing, if that wire, if your ground wire is loose or rubbing or something, it, it will just won't work. You can have a great big giant amp or a mini amp like Richard's back here. You can have a giant full stack of, imagine if you had a full stack of guitar amps like back in the day, Marshall stacked to the ceiling, 80, 50 heads. 
you plug your guitar in, and that one little wire, because of grounding, dude, will make the whole thing sound like cra like nuts. So anyways, it's the little details. Done yet? All right, let's do it. All right, dude, look, I'm trying to tell you, this is the one, you got me in a bad place right now. I don't, I don't share this a lot on camera, but building these things, especially the technical 10, is like basket weaving inside, it's basket weaving inside of a bottle, trying to build a ship. Did you ever build a ship in a bottle? I never have. This would be like trying to do that while basket weaving. All right, so the lefty. Of all the 10, it's always got to be the lefty, dude. This part right here was pushing against it. See that? So I just put a hole there. You know, that's the workaround. It looks cool. I did that on another one of those. So it looks cool. It'll be like another sound hole. So this is all coming together. This isn't why I'm getting ready. This isn't why I'm getting ready to gripe. It's because I got it all pretty in here and it wouldn't close. And I'm like, what the? You know who you Sammy Sam is? You can't see that camera shot. What would you a Sammy Sam say? Right? He'd be cussing up a storm. He'd be cussing up a cowboy storm. This, see this? All right, see this corner right here? Boom, see that? Watch, easy peasy, look. Lemon squeezy, yo, look. When you go to close it, it won't close. I'm like, what the, God, I'm ready to drop bombs on this thing. What it, what, yeah, what it is. <laughs> what? Let me tell you, let, let me tell you what it is. It's this. It's the corner bracing that I use to attach the back part, either the survival kit or to put, to put screws in here. So you have to count for this. It's not only this thickness, but it's the thickness of this thing. And it's the thickness of this. It's very deceiving. So what I need to do now is pretty much unglue that and then scooch it. Give it a little scooch in that way. That's all I'm saying, dude. Basket weaving a pirate ship inside of a bottle. I love it. It's fun. All right, yeah, while I'm here, let's, let's talk about something real quick. String. string. Uh, I've got nine mocked up here. I've got eight strung. And what I'm doing here is, see the bridge can kind of move. And this is what I'm saying. I have the, I have the ground wire going up through inside of here, inside of here, like a little hole, and then connecting under the underside of this. That's kind of grounding the strings, okay? And then also, this has to be able to go forwards and backwards. And I also have the bridge re reversed, because normally you would want this this way. But because we're playing with pulleys and ancient Atlantean <laughs> pulley wackiness, I got it reversed. So it'll give me my, the back angle I want. Dude, I'm trying to tell you, bro. It's fun, I love it, but you gotta go slow and low. Um, strings, so. I'm temporarily stringing this so I can have a, some wiggle room to go this way or this way. This can go this way and this way, and it can also go up and down, up and down, and back and forth, but I still, yeah, I don't wanna talk about it. Why, why am I talking about it when I don't even wanna talk about it? <laughs> why, why am I talking about it when I don't even wanna talk about it? Before, if you get one of these, cause you will, if you're watching this video, you're gonna get one. I mean, I can't say that you're going to get one and who knows when you're going to get one for this video is shot December 19th, but who knows 
when you will see it. You might see it three years from now. <sighs> Stringing this, these are not for the faint of heart. Essentially what you're doing is, you're gonna, and I'll do this in a minute. You're gonna go through here, right? See little, the little handy dandy grommets? You're gonna come out of there, you're gonna pull them through there, come all the way down here. You're gonna go down and around now. Ah, now you need to go down and around now. Down and around those um, pulleys, these uh, little wheel things I got from Kerbler. Screen doors, those are for, go look at your patio door, the screen door, and then you'll see those little rollers maybe. Open it up. You're gonna come down, pull a string through here, and then you're gonna come up through here, and then go, and then kind of put it in there. Same kind of rules apply, like you'll pick up a, a your string and pull it up here, snip it. For this one right here, you'd snip it right about here, and then pull it, so you have about this much slack in it. And then just, I'd highly recommend getting one of these things. Where's it at? Where's my stuff? I got stuff everywhere. That's why, I, that's why I don't really want to talk on camera. Get one of these things and put it on your drill. And it'll go in there like that and just go in. And then do one, two, three, snip it, then boom. But when you're doing that, you got to be careful that it doesn't fall out of this little track. Like I was saying, these are really going to be fun, super, and highly technical. Tacti I say technical. Can't think clearly because I'm kind of aggravated. Because of that glue right there. That, that stuff like that will set me off. And then watch in about two minutes, Captain Howland Man Murdoch's going to come down here and start driving me nuts. <laughs> so I'm just going to pop this off and then press forward. Press forward with what? I sound like the sham wow guy. Like I'm sham wowing people. This one's done. All I'm doing now is I'm getting the strings on them because the persnickety intonation stuff is going to be like a later date. Today's goal is just getting strings on here. Eight's done. Lefty over here is giving, causing aggravation. It's funny too because all the left-handed guitars I've ever made, I've made like four or five of them, always are aggravating. I don't know what it... I'm not saying nothing, dude, about lefties. I'm saying the lefty guitars are aggravating. I almost didn't put the strings on there right. And then number 10. I think number 10 is the one I'm going to film putting the strings on. And, th and this is the last of the yapping. I think I'm just going to do the rest of this video, just putting them all together and not saying anything else. It's a time to just to shut. I may need to make a stringing video, like this its own video, because if I get rid of 10 of these, I'm going to have to explain this 10 different times. And Anyways, this is how you do it, stringing. Now for this last one, number 10. I'm gonna go ahead and outfit this guy right here with some, for some barbecue game. What does barbecue game mean? Barbecue game is what's beyond post rock. Barbecue game is what, barbecue game is its own subgenre, but it's not even a genre. It's its own thing. 56. Big strings, 56. Sometimes I do it with 72. Just because if you wanna tune it down some. All right, here we go. 
Ready? Right here. Back to here. These are white grommets. Like, I don't know what they're called. No, no. <laughs> Pop rivets. It's hard to talk and think at the same time. All right, he's gonna go through here. Come up through here. Go down to here. See, through the intricate pulley system. Down, does that make sense? It's gonna go down into here. <clears throat> All right, one. We're down like this. This is the same way you would do those traveler guitars, and then this is gonna go into his corresponding little tuner thing there. So what I'm gonna do now is, I think uh, Richards, not the amp, but the man, Richards is the one who taught me how to string my guitar up all those years ago. All right, I'm gonna pull him through here. Now you can make sure that you can wind this tuner so the string goes up over, up over the post or down below the post. Does that make sense? When I'm um, tuning this up, the string can go wrapped from down beneath and pushing it down, or you can do it up over. It doesn't really matter. It's sort of your druthers. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna opt to go down. What CD am I listening to? I said CD. What album am I listening to? Like I have a like a record player. What cassette tape am I listening to? Dude, it's the year 2022. The kids nowadays don't even have any idea what a cassette player is. I'm streaming The End of the Ocean. The album Air is just... All right, I'm pulling this out, what, about an inch? I don't know, inch and a half. Double checking that I've got it ran through all my pulley system. Snip. I'm gonna pull them all the way down. I'm gonna go like this. This might be a whole video just on tuning this thing. And I'm gonna pull him down, make sure he locks. And remember, I am airing to <clears throat> force the string down. my girls that they're screaming they like to wait till a really intense time of cigar box guitar buddy then really let me have it they'll be quiet all day long Okay, girls, I'm filming. What are you fighting? For example, like everyone in this family knows that I can't stand or I really have a stressful time when it comes to soldering. All this stuff right here, all that stuff right there. My girls would be quiet all day long until I start getting aggravated with that and then World War, World War Nine will break out. I mean, they just will fight about, see like here? See, I'm not in the groove. Does that make, see, see that? See that? Uh, wash out this camera let me fix that so just go slow this is not the guitar you'd want to take on tour with you to tour the world with you definitely would want a more of an easier string change this looks cool i told you man this is more this is more for um going tactical when the war's breaking out and you guys spend three hours <laughs> changing your strings this is the guitar you want, bro. Yeah, I just found this guitar fun and challenging. All right, so look. It's going down through there. And then over and around here. She's coming down through here nicely. Well, this camera shots aren't really annoying. Okay, see? And then, now I'm roughing it in now. I don't have this bridge all the way in now because I, I still want to have some wiggle room to move them around. So I'm going to step and repeat here. I'll do this fast. 
56. Then I'm going to go 46 or 42. I think I'm going to go 40. I'm going to go 42. Just because. Like, I've got like a million strings right here, dude. Look. I got like. I just got a bunch of them because when I'm doing these, it's just too boring to make them all the exact same gauge and whatever. Yeah, I primarily play in DAD, but when the person gets these, you can change the gauges. You got to watch the tension, and I put that in my one line. I have like a little sheet I send with these when I send them. You can play around with gauges. There's like a million gauges. There's like a whole bunch of different tunings you can use, and it's a, it's a, it's a science to it. You have to kind of – it's – it's artsy. You got to kind of play with it. If you just want to go stand or whatever everyone else and your grandmother's doing, that's fine. Just go to CB Giddy and they got kits and you can just keep sort of a standard kit. If you're kind of experimental and you're a songwriter um, and you want to just kind of play with alternate tunings and just whatever and see what kind of funky happens, you use all your leftover strings you saved up and then you just start putting them on there and you use lower gauges and bigger gauges and whatever. So this one I personally like sometimes mostly big strings. Although Atmos, I was playing with the, anyway, all right, let's focus, focus. All right, so I'm gonna go 56. I was, I could go 46. Sometimes like right now, I'm just gonna look at them. 56, 42, 30. I like a real big beef eater on there. Uh, I mean, I'll have strings fall over the place. It's slippery. All right. I'm going to go 56, 42. And then 30. I'm just going to go...
9, and 10 are, the bridges are installed. They are grounded. I'll fix that little hole right there later. Um, the electronics are in, the bridges are installed, and they are strung up. Getting ready to be added to the collection over here. Look, isn't that sweet? Boom. Did you dig it? Keep oil in your lamps, my friends. Watch and pray. Little ones to him.
Wait, how's it going again? What, do I see the No, uh, Jesus loves me this and now because the Bible tells me so. Almost.